All right. As you've probably seen all over the place, there's news of a witch reboot. And as far as I can tell, it looks legit. I even pre-ordered a copy, which I suggest you do, and I'm going to show you how. Because it seems to be only coming out in Italy right now, so I'm going to show you how you, whatever country you're in, hopefully it works, but I know this works as an American on how I can order from Italian Amazon. Okay, as you can see on the screen that I've put here, this is what the art style looks like. We don't have a very good quality picture of the cover art just yet. It has rumored that this cover appeared in Anteprima Panini, which is a preview comic magazine. And I looked at the last three issues uh, up to 383, and I have not seen this in any of them. So I'm not sure where this image came from, but I'm thinking it's majorly legit because I have ordered it from Amazon and it's listed on other Italian publishing sellers. Uh, so let's take a look here. At first, I will say I was not a fan of the way that this looks. I really enjoy the dark edgy look of the witch comics and I want to keep that. I don't want to go too shoujo. And the way that I understand shoujo art is that it's cutesy, rounded eyes, rounded features, as opposed to shonen manga, which is, you know, your Naruto's, your Bleach, um, where it's sharper, more serious, more detailed. And I feel like that would apply much better to witch than a shoujo style, which this seems to be because this is going to be considered a manga which means I don't know if it's going to be in color because most times manga are not in color. Maybe the first few pages are, but this may not be a full color manga. I have with me the Japanese manga that came out back in Japan. It's the first one. I plan to at some point get the second one, but I have a PDF of it anyway. Um, it has a similar art style as this new one does not too far off and let me show you an example of what the inside looks like okay for instance here is the halloween photo in the manga the way that it's done not bad not terrible i still don't really enjoy how hey lynn comes out in this or to ronnie i'm not I'm not all completely for it. Sure, it's cutesy, but it's not my cup of tea. Maybe other cup, uh, everyone else's cup of tea, but not me. Um, sure, you can get some really beautiful stuff with manga, but you know, it not being in color. Look how much we're probably missing out on some beautiful details. One of the major things I loved about the witch comic was the coloring, and one of my favorite images is that image of Will with the heart of Kandrakar in the labyrinth of Meridian. And it was so beautiful. And if this is going to be majorly black and white, I don't think the magic and beauty of which is going to shine through. Uh, I feel like they're choosing to do a manga because, I mean, that is majorly popular right now. When Witch was first coming into America, graphic novels were not really anything of what they are today. They were barely a thing. And I feel like if they're going to do a manga, they've got to give us an anime sort of thing to go with it. I mean, it's almost par for the course. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, we have to just pre-order the heck out of this if we want it to take off. While this isn't how I would have wanted to see Witch come back, I would have wanted to see it come back in the hands of the original creators and not through Disney. I was kind of hoping Disney would just kind of give it back to them eventually, which of course it was silly to think they would do such a thing, but this is what we have been given and we're going to have to give it a try and see how this is going to look and turn out. I do, I wish I could see a better detail of the rest of the girls. The body types aren't extremely unique. I've seen some great fan art of what a good reboot 
could look like um, where the body types of all the girls are are different which is more fitting to how things are represented today um, these all they all look very standard anime girl and everyone yes has been looking at this mysterious character in the corner theorizing it could be Elion because who else could it be unless they have a sixth guardian which I have a theory about someday but I doubt they do that also as you can see the wings have changed they're now I don't know how to describe that almost dragonfly like very typical fairy which of course we lose that unique wing that they had before that made them special that made them recognizable does this compare to the first cover no in my opinion it does not i guess it's the new way it's going to be supposedly a new story as you can see will's outfit has changed it looks like we're going for light purple and dark teal so they've kept it looks like the proper teal color but we're going for a lighter purple this look feels similar to her new power clothing which we haven't seen yet in my reviews but i have seen the outfit and it's fairly similar i figured that you know the traditional outfits probably wouldn't have made it into a reboot just because i feel like the original witch outfits were so such a 2000s thing so we don't have an entirely green striped tight which i kind of like the while it was unique it was a little gaudy um so I really like how the bottom half of this outfit looks. I'm not really a fan of the striped sleeves. Um, and of course, I miss the bell sleeve. I loved the bell sleeve that Will had. I don't want to critique it too much because, you know, this is just the cover and the whole don't judge a book by its cover, but it's hard not to have an instant reaction to this. Uh, so the title of this is A New Beginning. And let me read you the description. Which, the heart of friendship, not the power of friendship, the heart of friendship, is a new manga-style graphic novel, which is sort of contradicting itself, but manga-style. Presented as the reboot of the famous original comic series. In this modern adaptation set in present day, so we're not going to be seeing any floppy disks, the group of friends, Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Hey Lin, fight a mysterious threat from another world. The girls will discover that only together they can save the day because magic is most powerful when shared. 20 years later, here is the new version of The Witches, which remakes a story based on the original comic series, but in the form of the graphic novel. This might just be a weird translation. This is a completely new story, a modern adaptation for today's female readers. The protagonists reflect the expectations of young contemporary readers. They are today's girls who live their daily lives in a modern world, in step with our times. Daily life, fashion, technology, and society are inspired by reality, allowing for greater empathy between readers and protagonists. A fantastic reboot that will allow young readers to discover and fall in love with this new magical version and will bring the historic fans back to. So... They're expecting that we're going to be there to support this, and we're going to try. Again, I've pre-ordered a copy. So let's talk about how you could pre-order a copy. You're going to want the Amazon app logged in to an account, and then you're going to go to whatever your internet search bar equivalent is. Mine is Google. I'm going to type Amazon.it for the Amazon Italy website, and my app is going to ask me if I want to switch countries. I'm going to click yes, and my Amazon app will automatically be put into Italian. Now I can search items from Italy. Enter the ISBN of the book. The book is going to be the first option that comes up. And you can pre-order it from there. I was able to select pay in US dollars. And it's just going to send the book to the address that's on my Amazon account. To reset your Amazon account back to normal, just close it out. Go back to the internet search bar and type Amazon dot whatever your country is. I did Amazon dot USA. I probably could have done Amazon dot US. But either way, like the second option and it worked and it's back to normal. And that's how you can pre-order the witch book. This does look legit. So pre-order and support this as best as you can. It might be the best we get with anything witch. 
that's new. I can't wait to see what's up. And it's coming out in October. It's only three months away. So uh, let's hope something good happens. Anyways, ARC 5 is almost done, I promise you. And I actually am considering trying to go back to my first few videos and remastering the audio. Um, because as you, as you all know, the audio for them is really terrible. Um, and that's because I used to record through my headphones. So it's very tinny. Now I've got my little snowball microphone, so it's much cleaner and better now. But uh, yeah, that, those first few video audios are pretty rough, so I'm trying to see how I can figure that out. Anyways, till next time, thanks for listening.